Hi guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to redirect your website URLs without losing that SEO juice. So redirecting it from WordPress or BigCommerce or Neto, Neto, Murrow Post, whatever your CMS is into Shopify. So with this video, I'm going to show you two different ways. One to do it manually, which takes a little bit longer. And then the other way to do it via a CSV, which is extremely easy, extremely fast. So let's get to it. Now, the reason why I wanted to do these redirects, first and foremost, is that if I'm ranking for a keyword, I don't want to lose that search juice, that all that work that's gone into the SEO in the past, and I don't want to lose that. So I basically want to get the search terms for, so hand planes body surfing. Now it has 600 volume. And as you can see here, this is the URL. What this is going to do right now is it's going to redirect because I've already set up the redirect. This URL is actually the old website. So if I click on this, it's redirected to this brand new page on my brand new website on Shopify which is fantastic. That's exactly what I want to happen. So what I did is you come over to your online store and you click this and then you click navigation. Okay, and now you click on view URL redirects. And as you can see here, this is the path that it was originally on Neto. And this is where I want it to redirect to. So this is a permanent redirect. And this is exactly what I want to happen because now when people search body surf hand planes, they're going to go straight through to this and Google's going to be happy and there's going to be no fluff. It's not going to go to the home page. It's not going to just say page not found or 404. It's going to go to the page that I want and that will be rewarding for me as a site owner because it will not, I will not lose out to the other competition. So that's what you need to do if you have a simple redirect. So let's go through the process. So right here, create URL redirect. Now you wanna redirect from a previous uh, product. So this is Ahrefs, this is a software that um, is good for SEO. But what I'd suggest is that you export your list of URLs from the back end of your WordPress website. And what that will do is it will show you a list of all of the products, all of the pages that are, that are ranking. And then all you need to do is do exactly this with the URL. So for example, let's see what we can do on this list. I exported this list in particular because these were the pages that were ranking for me. So all I needed to do from here was export this and it basically sent me a list of exactly what you can see here on the screen. So I don't wanna lose any SEO juice for surf jewelry. It's only a hundred volume, but you know what? I really want that. And as you can see, I'm moving up. I've moved into position two position two for surf jewelry. And there was actually a sale yesterday for surf jewelry. So what I want to do is I want to actually get this URL. So I'll click on it. And as you can see, it's a 404. So this is what we don't want. What we want is we want to copy right there and copy that. And then what you need to do is you need to come over to your redirect section and paste that in. Now, where do I want it to redirect to? So what I do is I right click on the products and I find my new collection that I want to redirect to. So click on collections and you can do this a number of ways. If it is a product, you click on the product and then you view the product exactly the same way. So let's just go surf jewelry. So I made this um, collection specifically for the new website and then I click view. So what that's going to do is it's going to show this new URL, URL. It doesn't have any products on there yet. That's up to me to get moving, but you can see here, this is the new URL. So what you do is you copy this section, 
copy. Then you go back to your redirection section and paste that there. So before it was accessories jewelry, now it's collections surf jewelry. So I went after surf jewelry to get position one. I probably didn't need to because it's obviously in position two on that old website, but I want position one, pole position, another good reason to, to add the right URL is that it's really good for your Google shopping campaigns and just Google advertising in general. So save redirect. Okay, so that's been saved. Now let's go back to view redirects. Okay, for some reason it's not propagating here yet. Let's refresh the page. Still not propagating, but let's just go to here now and let's just see if it actually worked. So I'm gonna click on this old URL and there you go. It's as simple as that. So as you can see now that that old URL is pointing to this new URL, I need to add the categories to this surf jewelry section. So then the sales keep on coming through. So that's how you do it on a, sorry, that's the next step. That's how you do it from creating a URL direct manually. So as you can see now, just refresh the page. You can see now accessories jewelry, it's going to collection surf jewelry. Perfect. Now to do it via CSV, let's go. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually getting the original URLs that I exported from my sheet here. So all of those URLs are basically, I copied those and I pasted them all here on the left. Now it says redirect from, and this is an example. So you can actually download an example here. Let's go to import. And then as you can see here, you can download this sample CSV template. Okay. I don't need to do that, but if you need to do that, you can do it. And what it will do is it will basically download a CSV just like this redirect from here and products, whatever your example is. So this is great. What I'm going to do now, because I don't need this is I'm going to delete rows two to four and we're starting from here. So it's going to redirect from this old URL to this new URL. Let's just make this a bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So salty shadows. Now this will be a 404 for sure. So I click on that. Here is the URL. It's not found. Surprise, surprise. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see this URL and then I'm going to find where salty shadows is in my collection. So salty. I think I've created one yet. There we go. So I've got to create a collection. Let me just do this quickly. Okay, I'm going to copy that, just put that in the description for now, and then copy it there so it goes into the tag. So the tag's really important. So then every time you add that product, it will be there. Okay, so that's how you create a quick collection with nothing in it. However, this has been created now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this new URL that I've created because this is where I'll add all of my Salty Shadows products. Oop, got to go back to here. Here we are. And I'm just going to paste that in there. And that's how easy it is. So all you need to do once you've done this is save this URL, uh, this Excel CSV. And all you need to do then is click import and then you add that file. Okay. So I might um, do that just for you guys now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save and download this. I actually do this through Google Sheets, but you can save it however you want. And it has to be a CSV. So there we are. It's just downloaded for me. And I'll show that in my finder. And I will say, I'll just call this URL redirect, and then um, I'll just say half because I'm going to go ahead and finish this off when I'm done. But for example, there it is. And then what I need to do is I come through to the URL redirect section, import my CSV. So I'll add the file, 
there we are and then upload the file there we go your import contains 20 url direx preview there's a preview so it's basically a preview of what it's going to look like and then import redirect Eighteen redirects have been done. Udirects have been updated with the new target URL. Okay, so okay, so I've just refreshed my section of URL redirects, and as you can see here, it has eliminated the original part of the redirect, which is the main domain name. So that's fantastic. It's really, really clever. Shopify is unbelievable. I'm so happy with Shopify. I used to be a massive WooCommerce fan and I still am. I still am. WooCommerce has its place for different companies and different products. But if you're a mums and dads or just a new kind of e-commerce, uh, let's say adventurer, then this is the perfect software for you. There we go. So it's all redirecting now. Let's check it. So I'll come back to here because this is the old URLs as we've spoken about before. Now I definitely did this one before and I want to see if this redirects. There we go. So when it says, sorry, there's no products, that's good for me. It does not say 404. It is already redirecting from the old URL to the new URL. This is extremely easy to do. If you have any problems, please ask me in the comments, like and subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'm happy to, to help out with any other videos. If you're struggling with anything to do with Shopify, please hit me up. Happy to help. Thanks.